Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my perfume tray update for weeks one and two of March. So I'm going to be updating you on the fragrances that I wore for weeks one and two, and just letting you know how I'm feeling about them and just going deeper into the perfumes that I have on the tray for March. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on all things girly, especially videos on smelling good. If you like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video. And if if you are already part of the fam, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so, so much. With that said, let's get right into today's video. All right, guys, so I am hope that you guys are doing great. I am back to having a horrible lisp, you guys. Like, I don't know how I'm going to get through these videos. I went to my adjustment appointment for my braces and the lady that I got, she was like, you know, I think that you might still have a tiny bit of a crossbite left, so we need to fix that. So we're going to put bite blockers. So I'm thinking she's gonna put like the same little blue things that she put the first time. No, no, she put these fangs <laughs> behind my front teeth, two little pieces of like sharp little, they feel like fangs. I swear, I feel like I have fangs. So I can't really say S and it's just very hard for me. So I just wanna apologize for the list. We are about to be a year with braces on and I have seen such a huge difference. So I'm very excited and all of this will be worth it. But for right now, it's just a big pain in my butt. But anyways, let's get to the fun part. Let's get to what we are here for, which is the fragrances that I wore for the first two weeks of the month. So I am going to start off by letting you guys know that March has been the month of like full blown spring vibes, very fresh fragrances, girly, pretty fragrances. Um, there's some florals in here mixed with fruits. I'm not really a super floral type of girl, so that's never really my vibe. Usually when I'm talking about florals, there are some fruits mixed in, some musk. Every single fragrance that I'm going to be talking about in today's update is perfect for spring. So if you are looking for some spring fragrances to try out this spring season, you can keep these in mind. So I'm going to start off with the first one that I wore which is Glossier U so this fragrance I wore already a few times this month this fragrance I love for just every day I wore this one to one of my appointments for the orthodontist I don't really like putting anything that's too strong or that's going to bother like people in a small office setting or anything like that. So Glossier U is the perfect fragrance for that. It's the perfect fragrance for every day for just smelling really, really good and smelling feminine and girly and just fresh without it being too much. So it's almost like a second layer of skin, but just smells a little better. Glossier U is so beautiful. This fragrance has musk, powdery notes, and iris. I will say I get like pepper in here and I usually layer Glossier U with Bath & Body Works Kaleidoscope and Kaleidoscope does have pepper in it. I think it's black pepper and I swear I can smell it in here too. So this fragrance is like musky, it's a little powdery, easy to wear, very fresh, put together in a really pretty way. But I will say there are some days where the pepper can be a little bit too much. It doesn't really happen to me all the time, but it has happened to me maybe like once or twice where I'm just like, ooh, like I feel a little kick of pepper in the fragrance but you will smell so good with Glossier U. And by the way, Glossier is now available at Sephora, so you can go on the Sephora website and pick this up. Now it is available at Sephora, which makes things so much easier because Sephora has quick shipping and you can go ahead and try it out at Sephora if they have it in store. But I am going to leave the link below. I'm going to leave the link to all of these fragrances in the description box. I do make a small commission out of those links. So I just wanna say thank you so much to those of you who decide to shop through there so that is glossier you and then now i'm going to move on to one that is going to be leaving my collection not because it's bad so lately i have been raving so much about sugarful sunshine i really really love that fragrance that is the pineapple that i have been looking for for 
ever. I just wanted a pineapple fragrance that was a little musky, that it was sweet, that had a little bit of like sexiness to it, but not patchouli and not amber. Like I don't want that in my fragrances. I personally don't enjoy those notes too much. I do have tons of fragrances that have patchouli and when done right, it's the most sexy, long lasting note. But if it's dirty, if it's too strong, I cannot do it. And amber is even more of a polarizing note for me. So I went ahead and got this Escada Miami Blossom. And the first time that I ever tried this fragrance, I smelled nothing but pineapple. It was so beautiful. It was just a juicy, ripe, sweet pineapple with a few more fruits and just very juicy and beautiful. So I was very, very excited to take this out for the spring season and possibly find another pineapple fragrance that I really, really love. But this one, I feel like I am getting more of the other notes, which I was very excited about at first. It's such a beautiful opening. It's very fruity, very bright, sweet, refreshing. Like you have just a bunch of mixed fruits and they are the freshest fruits. Like when you bite into them, they're just the perfect texture. They're like really, really watery and juicy. So I started using it. I wore it to bed. I wore it during the day a few times. Like I would just pick it up and splash it on, but it does not even last. 10 minutes on me and it's gone. And I know that a lot of Escada perfumes, like you shouldn't really expect super long time wear out of them because usually they're just these fruity perfumes that remind me of like Bath & Body Works body mist and those types of products. So I'm either just going to keep this to wear during nighttime, like for bedtime or to just maybe like spray in a room or things like that, just to freshen up for sure. It's going to get decluttered eventually because I am moving and I'm only taking things that I just absolutely love and they perform amazing and I just don't have any of those issues with. This one's really nice if you just want something to spray on during the day, very fruity. The blueberry is very pronounced in here. I think everyone might pick up different notes in this one because a few months ago I just picked up pineapple, nothing but pineapple. And now I pick up like watermelon and the blueberry. It's really, really nice. It's such a beautiful, fruity, tropical fragrance. This is definitely tropical for sure. It just does not last. That is the only bad thing about this one. Um, all right, moving on. I also wore Dolce & Gabbana L'Imperatrice. And this one I am loving just as much as I used to. It smells amazing. This is like a, um, I don't wanna tell you a bowl of fruit because I feel like this is definitely a watery version of those fruits. So to me, it's kind of like those fruit infusions. Like you have a pitcher filled with like different fruits and there's inside of the water. So the scent that you get is just a very watery, fruity scent. Now, when I first tried L'Imperatrice, I didn't like it. It almost smelled like fruit that was going bad. It was kind of sour. You guys know I don't do good with sour fragrances. So I wasn't sure if I was going to end up liking this one. And I will say that this is just one of the most beautiful spring scents that you can pick up. It's so refreshing. This one doesn't last long either, but at least I get a little bit longer wear out of this one. Like if I go in on the sprays on my PJs or on my clothes for the day, they, it will smell for way longer than the Escada one did. So yeah, L'Imperatrice has kiwi, it has watermelon, it has very unique notes that I don't really see too many perfumes using so it makes it a very unique fragrance i do love how simple the bottle is i think that it looks gorgeous on a vanity it's a simple bottle but it just looks beautiful like i really really appreciate the simplicity of it but how nice it looks imperatriz is another one that i think everyone should try out for spring this is a very polarizing fragrance not everyone is going to enjoy this fragrance very fresh light airy refreshing this to me is like a aquatic fruity fragrance. So if you love very refreshing, just cooling fragrances, then definitely look into L'Imperatrice because this one is a beautiful one, perfect for spring and summer, definitely. And I cannot wait to keep on using this one this spring season. Next up, oh my God, I was so excited to wear this one. And I was also scared at the same time because I had picked it up and sprayed it on my hand the other day and it was smelling a 
little funky, but I have had some of you guys tell me in the past that sometimes the fragrance that gets like in the little atomizer, if it sits there for let's say like a year, like I didn't pick up this fragrance for a year, it could get like a little funky in there. So you do have to clear it out. And I did try that out with a few fragrances and it worked like more than a couple times already. So I am a believer in that as well. So here we have Versace Dylan Turquoise. This is such a beautiful, first of all, this bottle to me is one of my favorite fragrance bottles that I have because I do like simple bottles, but then I also love like just unique, beautiful bottles that just have detail in them. So this is a very like beautiful, detailed bottle. I also love the color. Like I usually do not pick up fragrances in the 3.4 size, but something about this one, I just love it. It just makes me think of like the ocean in a bottle. This looks like the ocean in a bottle. So Versace Dylan Turquoise. This is another one that some people straight up hate this fragrance because to them, the citrus, like the lemon is way stronger. So I can definitely see how this can be a little annoying if you pick up only like lemon and freesia, which freesia can be like really sharp and clean smelling. So it can start smelling kind of like a cleaning product to a lot of people. What saves this fragrance for me and what is the best part of this fragrance is the guava. The guava saves it for me. It gives it this very tropical sweet vibe. I grew up just picking guavas with my sister and my brother. We used to just pick them up and eat them while we were playing. It was just a very like normal thing for us. So I can pick up guava like very, very easily. And this just has that beautiful guava in it. It just makes me feel clean and refreshed and bright. I would not say that this one is like super feminine. I feel like this one has more of like an aquatic touch to it. The guava makes it a little tropical and fruity. And then you do have like florals in it and musk and woods. So it's just a very beautiful fragrance to me that is a little bit closer to the unisex side. I wouldn't say that this is a super feminine fragrance because it's not. Versace Dylan Turquoise is one of those DNAs that I just really enjoy. So if you want something that's like a little woody, aquatic, there's lemon in here, so it's citrusy and fresh along with a fruity note, which is the guava. Give this one a try for this spring and summer. I love it so much and I still love it just as much as I did two years ago when I got it. And this one does have a dent in it because I have used this one a lot, but it's very hard to see the dent because of like the shape of the bottle. It kind of looks like it's completely full. We're gonna talk about one that I thought I was going to declutter, but no, 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 no. This is not going nowhere. Why did I even think about decluttering this one? I think it's because when you first smell it, like from the cap, you get like, kind of like a cucumbery type of smell, but oh my God, when this dries down on the skin. I actually wore this yesterday. This is Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria Limon Verde, which unfortunately, I think that this has been discontinued as well. Why? Why discontinue the scents that are just so unique, so beautiful, so different? So I heard about this fragrance from Tara Michelle. I feel like every video I should just be like, Tara Michelle, because I think that she is just the nose that I just, you know, every single time that she shows a fragrance or she talks about a fragrance that I have never smelled before, I'm just like glued to my phone because it's like if she's smelling it for me and she's giving me a feedback. This one, oh my God, if you go to like a discounters or if you are somewhere where they sell like discontinued fragrances, this, when you first smell it, like when you smell it from here, you're going to smell kind of like cucumber with limes and watery and sweet because there is sugar in here. So that is kind of like the immediate first thing you're gonna think of is maybe not cucumbers because there's no cucumbers in here, but I think about cucumbers. This is honestly the most refreshing citrusy fragrance while still staying feminine because it does dry down to this unbelievable sweet sugary lime musk if you are the type of girl like me because for years i have loved this scent profile and not too many people are crazy about it but i am is it the coconut lime i gotta go get it I had to go to the bathroom to go get it but 
This has been around for a long time from Bath and Body Works and this is Coconut Lime Breeze. This is one of my favorite just body care scents that I always kind of go back to. So this has coconut water, white orange blossom, zesty lime infused with jasmine petals and island musk. So I pair these two together. I know this is not a layering video, but these two together, oh my God, if you love lime, coconut breezy just that's just what it makes me think of like refreshing type of fragrance this is gorgeous i'm not gonna talk about it too much because it's hard to find so when that base dries like when you get to that base on your skin it just creates this beautiful i don't know there's no musk in there but i feel like if it was musky but it's just like you're left with the Tonka Bean does have kind of like that same, almost like a smoky vibe to me. And that mixes in with the skin so beautiful. And then you get like this lime with a lot of sugar. So it gets sweet and it's just unlike anything else. So I really love this. This is going with me and I'm going to finish this and hopefully I'll be able to find a backup bottle, but I still have a good amount. This one has a small dent, so it's not a big dent at all. All right, next up is one that just shocks me because the performance of this one is so beautiful for it being from Victoria's Secret. So this is Tea's Sugar Fleur. First of all, I love the bottle. The bottle is gorgeous. This is just the cutest thing ever. I love it. And it's just so girly and cute. And when I saw this at the store, I remember spraying it and I did love the opening way more than the dry down. The opening to me was just like, I'm taking this. Like I didn't even have to think about it. It opens up with this crisp green apple. Like that's all you can think of is just this juicy, crisp green apple. And then when it starts drying down, you'll start getting more of those notes coming through. So there is caramel in here, so it makes it sweet as well. There's bubble gum in here, jasmine, crystal amber, and sandalwood. So this is just super, super girly, super feminine, innocent, very playful and fun. Great for bedtime, great for every day, shopping, getting errands done, pretty much anything. And it's so good in performance that I would even just wear it in the evening as well. Even though it's a little bit more innocent and fun, like I wouldn't wear it to somewhere like that I wanna smell like sexy or grown or anything. This is more just playful jeans and a t-shirt. But what impresses me with Tea's Sugar Fleur is the longevity on this. This will last for like the entire day. I spray this on and I it just creates the most beautiful scent bubble and it will stay there. And it just smells so feminine and girly and sweet and fruity. It's beautiful. So this is one that it I think is a crowd pleaser. You have to like very feminine, fruity, floral type of scents this one is more to me on the gourmand side because i just get such a bright green apple it's so good it's super refreshing and like just juicy perfect for spring and summer next up i wore an oldie but a goodie and this is another one that starts off very citrusy but the dry down offers so much more and it's so different and unique so this next one that i'm talking about is versace versace this is another unisex citrusy fragrance. There's a lot of different notes in this one. Cardamom gives like this spicy touch to a fragrance. Fig is like a creamy, sometimes it could smell a little coconutty type of fruit. You have citruses, there's pear, which is sweet, some florals, and then you have wood and musk in the base. So this one reminds me a lot of Ellis Brooklyn Myth, but just with more sweetness into it and the dry down definitely gets sweeter and a little bit more towards the feminine side. Starts off unisex for sure. If you like like zesty, very clean, bright, refreshing fragrances, check this one out. You can definitely find this at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx for like $20 and it's such a good one to have, especially for spring. This is like a must have. This is great if you like to smell clean, but you do not like that soap or laundry detergent type of smell. This is definitely more clean, like towards the citrusy side, woody side, and it's just beautiful. Versace Versace. 
Next up, we have another favorite. I love this fragrance so much and I have been using it this month a lot. So this one is Kayali Eden. Love the bottle, love the packaging, and I just love, this to me is a must have for spring and summer, easy going apple fragrance. This always takes me back to my middle school days. I used to wear LA Looks, the gel, and I used to like pretty much waste like half a bottle on my head like my hair would be so crunchy and hard <laughs> but that is kind of like what this takes me back to just a happy fresh flirty super juicy so the name juicy apple yes this is like an apple that's just like bursting with juiciness and it's definitely a red apple to me and i know that when i got this fragrance i picked up so much of the red apple it was pretty much the only thing that i was picking up lately i can pick up a little bit more berries and this does give the feeling of like a body mist type of fragrance very girly very easy to wear crowd pleaser but this performs really, really good on me. And I can get like a whole day's wear out of this fragrance as long as I spray my clothes, make sure that I'm spraying enough. It will last me like a fragrance does and not like a body mist because body mist on me literally lasts like two hours. This does last much longer than that. So just such an easy reach fragrance for spring and summertime. Next up is another one that I was very iffy about and this is Burberry Her EDT. So here is the bottle for this one. And I gave such a good review last year for this fragrance. I fell in love with it. Kind of reminded me of like Ariana Grande's God is a Woman, which is kind of what I wanted that one to be because this one does last so much longer than that one. It also kind of reminds me of Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar and just those very juicy pear sweet fragrances. Now this one does have a little bit more florals in it. I feel like it's a little bit more grown up in that sense where Ariana Grande, God is a Woman, and Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar stay more like towards the juicy fruity notes. And then the Burberry Her EDT, I feel the florals do shine through in this one. And I think that's what makes it last long, but I feel like that's what some people have trouble with. Some people get like very sour, sharp notes with this fragrance. I kind of got that a few days ago, but maybe it was the same thing with like the Automizer needing to be cleared up because I did wear it the other day. I wore it all day. I wore it like around seven o'clock in the morning. I put it on because I purposely wanted to test this one out again. And it lasted me all the way until like three o'clock is when I decided to put a little bit more of this one on. It lasted a really, really long time, performed great beautiful for spring now this is one that i will not go crazy over spring so if you have ever seen me spray i kind of just grab this is the fragrance that i'm wearing today which is clean reserve solar bloom but i'll just grab my bottle and i usually do one two three one two three one two three Sometimes I'll throw it in the air. Sometimes I'll go down in my clothes. I mean, it depends on the fragrance. So with Clean Reserve, I could do that and it's going to be fine. But I kind of forgot and I did that with this one. You don't got to do all that. You could do maybe like three, four sprays of this one and you're going to be leaving a trail because this performs great, does a great scent bubble. It has notes that help it last long, very girly, very flirty, feminine. This one you can wear casually but you can also dress it up because it has that longevity and it does have like that projection i get so much pear in this one and i also am picking up the black current a little bit more lately than i used to before it's not that much pear by itself i used to pick up so much pear that was like the star of the show with this one but lately i am starting to pick up the black currant not sure if i pick up strawberry so yeah the florals in this one just make it very classy it's fresh it's sweet and it's definitely a musky fragrance so that carries on throughout the whole time that you're wearing it some of the notes might get a little bit just quiet but the musk and the florals are going to be there for hours. I would say that this lasted like six plus hours on me. So yeah, really, really good one. But will I repurchase when I'm done with it? I don't think I will because even though it's very pretty, I think I prefer my Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar and just a few other scents that kind of give like the same vibe. But I did love it a lot last year and I'm going to continue to wear this one this spring and summer. All right, guys, so here is my pet rock. 
we are just, we're keeping her. She's part of the family now. You know, I hated the bottle. I cannot stand it on my vanity. I cannot stand looking at it. But the juice that is in here deserves to be in like just this gorgeous bottle with like a pink juice inside with like gold. Beautiful. Like I just do not like this bottle, but we're gonna move on. I've complained about it enough, but I just don't like the bottle. But the scent in here, you guys, oh my God. Mod Vanilla didn't do it for me. It was a very, very pretty one. It was very comforting, really nice to wear like around the house or casually. It is a fragrance that you can pop on at any time and it's going to do great. So I am not saying that it's a bad fragrance, but Mod Blush to me just does more for me. And it gives me memories of like my childhood. There was something that kind of smelled like this. So every time I smell it, it kind of takes me back even though I can't figure out what it is. And it's strictly in the opening. So it has to do something with like that passion fruit, which I usually don't like in fragrances, but in here, gorgeous. I wish that I can keep the opening like for the entire day. This definitely opens up like fruity, citrusy, bright, just gorgeous, but there's more in there. As it starts to dry down, the rose starts coming through and it gives it this very feminine, beautiful, delicate vibe. Along with the musk and unboxing in the dry down, it just turns it into like a musky, fruity rose scent, but very modern. So yeah, this is really, really nice. Very beautiful for spring as well. I think I would prefer this one for spring not necessarily summer because it the dry down does get a little bit heavy for me because of the rose not too much but just at least what i consider a little bit heavy not in a bad way at all but just not something that i would want on me on like a super hot day maybe i would prefer this more like on a spring day for sure if you don't like rose in your fragrances I wouldn't recommend this because you are going to get a lot of rose towards the dry down. It just turns into like a rose fragrance. But other than that, it's very youthful, feminine, beautiful, really, really nice. So that brings me to the end of today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this update. Comment down below if you are wearing any of these fragrances, how you're feeling about them, how you're loving them, how they're performing on you. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video.